Hello, this is Ipo Swords, and today we are looking at an artificially and fraudulently aged French court sword from the beginning of the 19th century. As with all of my fake antique videos, this is demonetized and provided free as an educational resource so that you don't get bitten by a fake like this. This particular sword was made and sold by Empire Costume, who tell me they use a Czech smith and have an exclusive agreement on this particular sword and many of their others. It features gilt bronze furniture, a blued and gilt blade, and a few very easily identifiable features, such as the cornucopias and the profiled face on the guard. If we compare the fraudulently aged one to the retailer's photos, you'll notice that they have exactly the same features down to the decorative elements on the scabbards, the ferrules, and the knuckle bow, as well as all the major metalwork parts on the hilt. You'll have to forgive me for the quality of the photos from the retailer, as they are rather overexposed and lack the detail that you'd like to see. In this way, the seller of the artificially aged reproduction has actually done us a favour in that their contrast is sufficient to make out all of the small differences between the two. If we have a look at them side by side, you'll be able to compare the casting on them, and when we overlay them, you'll see that they are in fact the same sword. Note worry is that they both use the exact same checkered wooden grips, whereas many of these would have had a mother of pearl grip as you've seen in previous videos of my antique collection. When we overlay one over the other, you can see that, despite the fact they're on slightly different angles, they are in fact the very same sword. They are in all ways identical, as you'd expect from a fraudulently aged reproduction. Let's move on to the blades, and we can have a look at the blued panels. Here you can see the artificially aged reproduction, and you can see that there are some losses to the bluing. And here you can see the fresh reproduction with all of its spectacular bluing still intact. When we compare them side by side, you can see that not only is the imagery identical, the size and spacing of each part of the blued and gilt blade is also identical. These are obviously reproductions from the exact same factory done in the exact same way. Note also the fact that the gilding is only in the grooves. On the originals, you'd see it covering the entire area where the engraving is, filling in that area. I'll roll in an image of an original in a moment, and you'll be able to compare them yourself. This is because of the way they were made. The fire gilding mercury amalgam could only cover a specific area. It would not go into the grooves like it's done on these. Moving back to the metalwork, you can see the castings here that both featured the exact same profile face and the cornucopias were fruit. You'll also note that the ferrule at the transition between the guard and the grip are the same, as well as the bird's head quillon. Moving on to even finer details, let's compare the scabbards. Here you can see the fresh reproduction with all of its spectacular gilding, and you can see the geometric patterns and web at the bottom of the throat of the scabbard. And if we look at the reproduction, although it's on the obverse side, you'll see the exact same motives. However, they've been filled in with black in order to appear older. There's not much more I can say about this sword other than to say that it is a clear reproduction that has been artificially aged and fraudulently sold. Keep a look out for this on auction sites near you, and please try not to be bitten by these fraudulent swords. Until next time, this has been Ipo Swords. Stay sharp.